Boys, we're looking at Redrick's Bronze Sword. Now, as you know, this weekend is Double Valor XP weekend. So for my guys that are needing to finish up that quest step, this is the weekend to do it. Now, with that being said, I want to talk about Bronze Sword and the roles you would want to go for. First up, how to obtain this weapon. The quest starts off there with Shax. Just pick it up from him and complete all of these quest steps. Now, from my knowledge, these do not have to be done in order. That's what I was told. I don't know. I received Claymore last season, so I've actually not done the quest. Now, last season, we got to go for Regis Claymore. Broadsword is essentially the year two version of it. The three things that's really changed about it is you get a magazine perk, you can slap a mod on it, and you get the year two version version of Masterworks, which scales higher than our year one versions. So right off the bat, let's walk through what I'm rocking on my Redrix broadsword. So for barrel perks, guys, I'm rocking fluted barrel. It helps out with handling. Now we'll say this. I think I would prefer arrowhead break, especially if you don't have a counterbalance mod. Recoil direction on this weapon is 75. So it's not going to be completely up and down. It is manageable though, especially if you load out that stability hard. Magazine perk, I'm rocking ricochet rounds. Great for stability, also great for range. I know some people think high caliber rounds is what's needed here. I tried the high cow approach. There's just too much bullet spread there in those mid ranges. So stacking on a little more stability there really helps, which is where ricochet rounds comes in. Now let's go over these traits real quick for those that don't know what these are. Essentially Desperado, reloading while Outlaw is active increases your rate of fire. And as you can see from the gameplay, it exponentially increases that rate of fire. Almost uncontrollable here on console. Now we're going to talk about the time the kills that are so associated with Redrix without Desperado activated and of course with it activated. Now the masterwork here that I'm rocking is a stability masterwork which really helps in combination with ricochet rounds and a targeting mod. I think here I might have tried a counterbalance mod. I can't say which is the better mod here. I think as soon as I get another counterbalance mod, I'll probably put it in broadsword just to give it a try. Now let's talk about time to kill for this weapon. This is a high impact pulse, meaning it hits 33 per crit easily. Can to burst any guardian at 0.67 seconds. That's fast. Now with Desperado, that time to kill gets even better. Matter of fact, it brings that TTK down to 0.47. So it boasts one of the best time to kills in the game, without a doubt, with or without Desperado. So is Redrick's Bronzor a top contender here in Crucible? Despite the role that you see in front of you, I don't think this is the god role. Again, to me, a targeting mod, arrowhead break, still rocking ricochet rounds, because I still think ricochet rounds is more important here than even high cow to me that would have been the god roll now despite not possessing that god roll the weapon is definitely a monster to be reckoned with fellas i can't tell you how many times that i got desperado the proc and the opposing team hit when opposing teams are waiting you out for your perk to finally go away that's when you know you're rocking a nasty gun. Now, I like Redrick's Broadsword even more than Claymore, especially with all the things we can do to it to tweak it. I will say that it has a learning curve on two different sides. Number one, activating Desperado. It sounds easy. All you have to do is reload after proc and outlaw, but there's somewhat of an art for chaining Desperado. Just about every time you see Outlaw on your screen, you wanna be reloading. Even if you've got almost a full Mac, you wanna continuously keep adding a couple more seconds to Desperado. Now Desperado, I like the perk. It's a cool one, but here on console, it can be hell to deal with because that recoil is crazy when you hit that rate of fire. I think someone broke it down and said that the rate of fire that this weapon jumps up to is 540. So yeah, it's cooking. And to be honest with you guys, I wouldn't even go for crit shots too terribly much. Like I would just shoot into people's chests. If you hit a crit, great. If you don't, you're still gonna kill them in like 0.5 seconds, which is kinda the opposite of what you wanna do beforehand. So your playstyle almost swaps. Like beforehand, before you proc Desperado, you're concentrating on getting those crits to proc Outlaw. And then immediately after that, you're just spamming your shots. So some conflicting playstyles there, but if you get used to swapping lanes like that, you'll be able to really use this weapon to its full potential. Now there is one complaint that I have about Broadsword, and I've done this in the past, but I had to do it with this weapon, which was how slow the gun felt when aiming down sights. I don't know what it is, guys. I feel like my sensitivity almost cuts in half when I'm aiming down sights. So much so that I went max sense on everything to allow my ADS sensitivity to feel somewhat normal. Now, I don't know if I would recommend you try that because yeah, it, it does throw you off, especially if you're used to rocking a certain sensitivity, especially for those out there that rock a lower sense to immediately jump up to max. It might throw your shot off pretty badly, but it was something I did notice. 
I felt like the overall weapon's handling seemed normal from the hip, and then the moment you aim down sights, it just cut in half. Let me know, guys, if y'all felt that way too. I know some people are gonna associate that with high impact pulses, but I can promise you, I never feel that way when I rock things out like Relentless. That gun handles seamlessly from hip to sights, where Broadsword does not. So guys, that is my one and only complaint about Broadsword. This is a fantastic weapon. It will eat entire teams up. It's got a learning curve to it. So guys, thank you all for coming and watching, and as always. Slap that like button like your mama told you right.